Hello and welcome to another episode of Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV. I am Adam Mani Angora, your host. In this program, where we do learn together how to prepare some amazing, amazing dishes. In today's program, I am going to show you how to prepare a grilled croaker fish, which is to be served with rice and steamed plantain. But before we move into the program, let us go for a short break and we will be right back. Welcome back. You are still watching Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV. Our menu today comes with the following ingredients. First of all, I would like to introduce our plantain, oil, unsalted butter, salt, seasoning, a mixture of parsley, celery, and mint. I am also going to use a fresh ginger, garlic, control onions, yellow pepper, and red pepper, red onions, and spring onions, as well as green chili pepper. I am also going to make use of turmeric powder, dried onions. The rice is right here by our side. And also, I am going to make use of black pepper, white pepper, and some cloves. So let us get started. First thing, let me wear my hand glove as I will now get my hands, you know, dirty with the um, preparation of the fish. So the first thing I'm going to do is of course to um, get my fish ready. Um, the fish has already been washed. I, I already removed the uh, scales, but then one more thing that I want to do, which I want to show on camera is that I'm going to make use of lime and give it a last wash. This will help us um, get rid of all the unnecessary uh, smells that usually comes with fish. So here is my croaker fish and I'm going to squeeze my lime and gently rub the fish. While doing this, it is very essential to um, do it very gently because you know you can easily get injuries from these spikes of the fish. Okay, and then I will now take it to the water and give it a final rinse. So the fish is now washed very, very well. The, last, the next thing I'm going to do is, you know, so this can be done with um, a paper towel, which will be more appropriate. Uh, what I'm doing is now to try as much as possible to pat the fish dry. All the excess water that is 
in the fish to be taken out. Now my fish is well prepared, waiting for marinade to be applied on it. And the next thing I'm going to do is to prepare my ingredients for marinade, which of course I am now going to use spring onions, which is mentioned during the introduction and then we'll now go ahead and put it inside of my food processor this and then the um, red and yellow pepper. The red onions. And then some green chili peppers. Now my ginger. We'll slice the ginger because the ginger is really strong. So slicing it in this way will help the food processor cut it much easier. So everything is now being put in place inside of the food processor and then I will now go ahead and cover it and let me be sure that it's on and then I will now begin to start it slowly slowly and then I'll be increasing the speed Perfect. So now I go ahead and remove the blade and then remove the container and then put my blender aside. Good. Okay, so the next um, next thing that I'm going to do is, see, you know the ingredients are blended here. It's just time to, um, uh, I just need a little while before I mix everything. So while I do that, I'll go ahead and start preparing the rice. Okay, so this is my rice, which I am going to wash about three to four times. I will wash it very, very well and make sure that I get rid of all the starch. Not all of it, but significant amount of the starch will, get, will be getting rid of. 
So I'm going now to get it washed. So now my rice is well washed. And you can see the quantity, you know, the amount of water that I put is just a little bit above the quantity of the rice. It just covered the rice, but not too much water, you know, not too much. So with this, I'll now just go ahead and start my fire. You know, sometimes I'm having issue with this um, smaller, this small burner in a way that I will just have to get some fire from here and then get it started. Okay, and I can turn that one off. Oh yes, now everything is all right. And you can see the quantity of the water is just a little bit above the rice. You know, I don't use too much water. And now, one more thing that I forgot to mention during the introduction is that I'm going to make use of peas. This is going to be added directly to the rice even before the water is hot. And then the combination of these three spices will now be added And as I conventionally do, I will go ahead and cut some amount of red onions. Not too much, like this is just okay. I'll also add it on top of the rice. And I'll go ahead and now add some vegetable oil. You know, rice is something that has um, starch in it. Even though we tried, you know, to remove the starch during the washing of the rice. But then, usually when cooked, rice gets stuck. You know, it sticks to each other. But by using this oil, while our rice is getting cooked, the oil also help separate, you know, or prevent the rice from becoming too sticky, you know. And it will look really, really awesome. And then I'll bring my unsalted butter will now then add it to the inside of my glass bowl you know some quantity of it and then i'll drop some amount of vegetable oil also And then I get my brush here. And then gently stir everything to dissolve the butter. Okay. And then I will now go ahead and add some seasoning to test. And then some salt will now be added. And also, I'm going to squeeze some lime juice in it. Some amount of control onion. My dried 
onions, I'll put some amount of it, and then three spices that I mixed earlier on will also be added. consist of white pepper, black pepper and cloves. And then at this moment I will now go ahead and put my blended pepper, onions and green chili pepper, some garlic. and then mix it really well now with this the next thing that i'm going to do is to add turmeric and then some parsley, celery, mint. I'm going to now give it a test to determine whether my salt and seasoning are okay. Yes, all I need to do now is to add a little amount of salt. And that will be much fine. incredible this is just amazing so what I'm going to do now is to prepare my foil paper for marinating the fish and then take it to the oven Okay, so I will now cut a foil paper that will go with the size of my fish, which in this case, I need the size of the foil. But then to avoid any unforeseen circumstance, I will just double the foil. I'll double the foil so that it's much stronger. Good. Okay.
okay i will now go ahead and put the fish inside of the oven and then come back and prepare the rest of the fishes while i'm getting my fish grilled the plantain also is going to be put on fire to steam and the style that I'm going to do here is that I'm not going to remove the skin until I finish cooking the plantain so I'm going to add it all I start the fire now and then add my plantain inside of the steamer and then get it covered okay now one more information that i want to add which i did not explain earlier on is that you know our marinade even though it's well prepared and applied to the fish there's one more thing that you can do actually as good as it is you can give it a stir fry fry it a bit and then apply it on the fish that also makes perfect sense so the first fish that i added into the oven i already added this without frying it but now for the next fish fishes that i'm going to apply i'll give it a fry a bit and then i'll add it but then before we continue let us go for a short break and we will be right back welcome back in case you are just joining us you are watching Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV. Even though I believe that you have missed a lot, but I'm sure you'll be able to catch up. We have been making a grilled croaker fish, which is to be served with rice and steamed plantain. As explained before, our marinade was applied to the fish without getting it fried. But now, for the next fishes that I'm going to put the marinade on, I am now going to give it a fry so that I show you another way of doing it. So this is just to give you a second option in case you try the first one do try the second one and find which one is the best for you so while I'm doing this let me check the rice in case I need to add some water then I can take a proper action but first of all let me check the level of water in there Okay, there is still some amount of water and the rice is doing just fine. I do not need to add any water in it. I will just allow the um, remaining amount of water to evaporate so that the rice is well cooked. So I went out there to check how far our fish is going in the oven and guess what? I found that our fish is 100% done and it is right here waiting to be served. And then I also check our rice and the rice is just perfect. Okay, so what we need to do now is to get it served. Let us get to the bottom of the situation. Okay. I usually like using this small glass bowl to get my rice served. That way I get a better result. 
So I'll now go ahead and bring my serving plate. And then we'll just skip. And then we'll do it that way. And then take it off. And guess what? The plantain is also done perfectly. So all I need to do is now just to remove the skin. What an amazing steamed plantain. I can just place it on my plate by the side. Here we are, our stew, now can put some of it on the plantain and I can go ahead and put some of it, oops, oops, okay. And here we go. And then here comes the moment of truth. Let's have some cucumber. And then here comes our grilled kroika fish. You can see how stunning our fish is looking. This is an absolutely amazing dish that you can serve your family or your guest. With this, here comes the end of today's episode. I hope that you were able to watch and learn something and it is my hope too that you will continue to put it into practice. On behalf of Adam's Kitchen on Trust TV, I would like to say bye bye for now. <laughs>